So I guess the essence of this new paradigm that we're talking about is really about a mindset and a behavioral change that then really affects our ways of gathering together and connecting to each other and relating to each other. So it takes a shift from competition, where there is like a, a run for everything, a feeling of scarcity all the time, a feeling that I only have to take as much as I can out of this, into a mindset of collaboration, where I can think that there is abundance and there is a space for everyone. It takes a shift from monoculture, where there's a space for only one way of doing things, one right answer, one way of dressing up, one way of, of living, one way of consuming, to a multi-culture, to um, a space where everything is possible, everything is open, everything is connected, and where diversity is a strength uh, rather than a fear. It takes a shift from compartmentalization, where the things that we study are divided into subjects that are not relevant to life or nature, to comprehensive or holistic, where the body, the mind, the soul, and the heart are all part of the same being, and where understanding the world around us is about understanding how everything is interwined. If you're studying how to grow your food, for example, you're talking about physics, geography, and climate, and uh, biology, and communication, and human interactions, and so, so many things. Another thing is really going from decontextualization, where there is like this whole illusion that every kind of science or every kind of knowledge can fit anywhere else. So taking science out of its context or any form of learning out of its context and moving from that to contextualization, to place-based education, to not having a recipe and where everywhere something different will work based on the context. Another necessary shift is a shift from this paradigm, and really this disease of certification, that everything needs a certificate, when certificates really do not express what I really, really know. I have a certificate in dentistry, and I tell you, I cannot be trusted to put my hands into someone's mouth, you know, but I don't have a certificate in so many other things that I'm really good at, but what I have is a community currency, a community reputation, a portfolio that I have done those kinds of things, and I've tried them, and they worked, and I continue doing them. Another shift is shifting from commodification to a culture of gift. From this culture where like everything has to be bought, even education, and the more money you put in it, the more prestigious it becomes, to a culture where there is living in a community and living in a gift where you get to serve and get to gift whatever you have that is abundant. And this actually creates a, a bigger cycle of abundance. And another shift is a shift from criticism to compassion, connectedness, and appreciation. So instead of criticizing everything and just finding the bad in everything and just criticizing others, to a culture of having compassion for difference. Instead of criticizing our own identity, our cultures, or our rootedness, to appreciating that and seeing what is abundant in it and connecting to it um, and acting from that place. Um pouco, morena que se caça, e o índio não deixa passar.